Good morning guys, how is it going today? Today we're back for another breakfast edition. Another breakfast edition of when can we do this again guys? We're gonna be headed right back here to Trattoria Al Forno and check out the character breakfast. This character breakfast has been open for about six months. It features Ariel with her, um, what do you call them, land legs, feet? Yeah, feet, feet. <laughs> Ariel with her feet, Eric, and you're also gonna get Rapunzel and Flynn uh, at this breakfast. It's a themed breakfast around those characters. So we're gonna go in there and check it out. Like I said, I've been meaning to get over here for about six months. I finally got myself out of bed, got over here. We're gonna go check it out today. So let's go in, shall we? So let's go ahead and look at the menu here, guys. This is the Bon Voyage breakfast. Starts off with some pastries that are very themed to each of our hosts today. Uh, the second course is a fruit salad, and then it's your choice of the following. It's not your traditional buffet-style setting, guys. We do have King Triton's Shipwreck Al Forno. Looks like a calzone with scrambled eggs, bell peppers, bacon sausage, and blended cheese, tangled. Tangled eggs, which I'm gonna go with uh, probably some kind of scrambled eggs there, guys. Uh, two eggs poached underwater. Also have the Tower of Pancakes. The Swimmer's Delight. It's an egg white omelet with uh, smoked salmon, goat cheese, spinach, and mushrooms. And the Golden Frittata there, bacon, pepper, scallion. As we move on down the road here, guys, there are the beverages. Looks like orange juice comes with the meal. Everything else is gonna cost a little bit additional. I wanna say orange juice and regular coffee because uh, I was offered coffee as well. And if you want some sangria or anything uh, to, of the adult sort, there are the prices on that, guys. Let's go ahead and grab something to eat. I'll tell you what, I am gonna be looking at either that shipwreck or maybe the royal breakfast, one of the two. Pretty good, how are you doing? Not too bad, I like this beer thing you got going on. It really works for you, yeah. You good with that? There I am. <laughs> I hope my nose looks okay. <laughs> Everybody gets it wrong though. What's that? Everybody gets my nose wrong. Everybody gets your nose wrong? No, you don't, everyone does. Everybody. You got it right though. Yeah. It's truly a chiseled work of art to perfection. But uh, we all can't be so fortunate, can we? Uh, not, not really, not really. I mean, <laughs> Some of, some of us are luckier than others. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, you going on some crazy adventures today? Um, uh, I don't know yet. Uh, haven't really decided. Kind of, kind of playing it by ear. Just... Yeah. Well, if you stop by the castle, don't judge my dancing, okay? I've been improving, all right. Been to dance with some princesses today. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Sounds good. Sounds good. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Too. Enjoy your day. Here's what I decided on, guys. It is none other than the state. Look at that. Looks pretty good, guys. Steak, a little bit of uh, potatoes, and the eggs there. Definitely looking forward to digging into this and chowing down. Looks delicious. Here to wish you luck on your adventures on land or the high seas. Let's welcome our fearless left the satchel. He's loyal and he's free spirited and curious with a zest for life under the sea or up on the shore. So as you can see guys, I clean my plate. Delish, delish, delish. And since I'm gonna be waiting a few more minutes, because I've only met one character so far, I went ahead and ordered some of the clam shells as I've tried everything in the pastry plate and really, really enjoyed the clam shells the most. So I'm gonna have a few more of those while I wait for the rest of the characters to come around. The puzzle knows that way down deep inside, everyone's got a dream. As she dances by your table, 
cool. Very own dream. Celebrating. I love uh, it. I we're celebrating it. breakfast. Oh, I do love breakfast. Breakfast is good. Pascal, not so much. He's not a big breakfast eater. Not a. I, I know. I know. I have no idea. I've convinced him to eat grapes, though. Grapes. It's one of his favorite foods. Yeah. I think it's because it turns him purple. I'm good with grapes. I had I had grapes here. You did? I did have grapes. You might have to hide that last one. You might try and come and eat. No, he, he can have it. He can have it. He I, can I, have I, I, I can share. Oh, that's very kind of you. He needs to work on those kinds of matters. I've, e I've even got a frying pan there. You know, you can't go anywhere without a frying pan. You might run into a bucket. It really, it really makes good use for plenty of things. It's so true. You never know. You can use it as a frying pan for, like, to help you against ruffians. You can use it in the, br in the rain as an umbrella or to cook. You can make eggs or pancakes. There's just so many options. I don't even know. There are a lot of options. It's true. You can use it as a bag to carry all of your things in it, all of your flowers. Use it as a base. You've got more uses I than I could have not. ever thought. You can even carry your lanterns in it if it gets really hot. You know, just kind of let it go with the frying pan. Okay. Yeah, it. yeah. Or even a candle if, 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 if you don't have a lantern. I like your style. I yeah, like the exactly. <laughs> exactly. Awesome. You want to get a photo? Absolutely. So we've seen two. There's we've seen two of the characters now uh, here as Rapunzel comes by. Great interaction as hopefully the <laughs> hopefully the shot was good the whole time uh, as I was just interacting um, about the frying pan. There's so many uses okay. for a frying pan. Who would have ever known? Here is the total on the breakfast here, guys. I got the royal breakfast. It ended up being thirty-six dollars minus the ten percent for the pass holder. Thirty-four dollars. We'll throw a tip on there. It's gonna be right around forty dollars for breakfast, guys. What is this? This looks like some sort of newfangled like sundial or sex. Well, on, on, on the other side's YouTube, but this is a camera. Wow. A camera. Yeah. A camera, huh? Oh, okay. That's what they call the portrait makers. Yeah, pretty. Nowadays. Yeah, portrait makers. Wow. Yeah. Very cool. Very yeah, cool. Yeah. Uh, it, it, on the other side, people will be watching this. Really? Watching us talk and everything. I'm astounded. <laughs> All I use is a sextant, a compass, um, some charts. Treasure maps. It's really all you need. Uh, that's all we need. I mean, really. it, 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 as long as you have the essentials. I exactly, mean, so. exactly. That's this is amazing, though. This so, is so how's your day going? It's going great. Um, well, it is going great, but I'm going to have a huge mess to clean up later. Max is in the back? Because Max is in the back. I heard you talking to them and telling Max is back there just tearing everything up. He is. He's eating all the food, though, so he's getting his fill. But he's he's breaking plates and stuff, so we'll take care of it. Big though. mess to clean up. Yes, yeah, yeah, but it'll be fun. <laughs> it was awesome. You know? yeah, it was great to see you. Awesome. Nice. So we have three down, one to go. Miss Ariel is standing right there, and we're about to meet her, guys. Uh, fun interactions with all the characters so far. So uh, as Eric's over here. Ariel's here. Howdy, how are you doing? Fantastic. Sorry it takes me so long to get around. Well, Still getting used to walking around with my feet. <laughs> I, that's, that's what it's going to do. I, I figured it was a long swim in. And then, yes, I, I so had a busy morning. I was swimming with Flounder earlier today. How's he? He's doing well. We didn't see any sharks this morning. No sharks. No sharks. We actually swam with some sea turtles, which was lots of fun. Well, that's cool. It's one of the sea turtles. He told us that he's 150 years old. That's, that's really old. I didn't think they got that old. Well, they do. They tell the best stories as well. I, I, I hear. And, and did they teach you how to speak turtle? <laughs> a little bit, yeah. <laughs> a little bit of speaking turtle. Oh, yeah. so, it's a little oh. different from speaking fish. Speaking fish. Oh, I mean. Or whale. It's got to be similar, right? <laughs> At least a little bit? Or, a little bit. Or do they, they sound more like humans? The, the, the sea turtles? The sea turtles. The sea turtles sound more like humans. <laughs> more like humans yes. than wells or, or other fish. Yes, that's awesome. <laughs> awesome. Can I get a selfie? Of course you yeah. may. Oh. <laughs> I've never seen anything like that before. Uh, well, 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 wasn't that fun, guys? So that is it with uh, with breakfast in here. Let's go take a look around the restaurant real fast, and then I'll catch you out front, um, and we'll uh, talk about the meal and talk about everything that goes with. Okay guys, that was Tutoria 
Alferno. Fer <laughs> let me let me just pronounce it wrong again. Tori Alferno. Ferno. 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 Alforno. Tori Alforno. How about that? <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna leave that in there because that's gonna be a great outtake otherwise. So, Tori Alferno. Uh, what did I think? What did the overall review? The food is plus 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 when it comes to breakfast at Disney, guys. This might be the best best breakfast food I've had at Disney because most of the time I'm doing character breakfasts that involve a buffet. And a lot of that food is standard issue. Uh, I mean, it's, it's just regular. It's not in the back of the kitchen being made fresh and coming out to you automatically. It's just sitting on the buffet. So I definitely recommend this for the food. Uh, all the food is themed after each of the characters that you will see in there, guys. Uh, Ariel and uh, <laughs> Ariel, Eric, and uh, Rapunzel, Flynn, all of them have their own dishes there, and they're all themed after the characters that you will meet at Trattoria. Um, so the food is definitely a plus. Um, the only thing that I kind of had a complaint about, and I don't know how much of a complaint it is, uh, I just got in at the end of a rotation, is what it looked like. Uh, as everybody, like, I, so I had to basically wait around after my mill was over to uh, see the characters. Where I was seated just happened to be the end of the rotation, and so, I mean, I probably was there an extra 45 minutes after I was done eating. Um, that's the first time that's happened, really, when it comes to a, a character mill for me. Uh, it is what it is, uh, but that was kind of just, I mean, I could have been done a long time ago. I basically had met just Flynn at the time that I was done eating and probably sit around, like, like I said, a total of maybe an extra 45. That's the biggest complaint I've got, and I don't think that's a, that's a huge complaint. It just kind of allowed, allowed me to sit there and take it in and enjoy. Uh, so, but I mean, that would be the only negative I had was just where I ended up in the rotation. That's nothing really to complain about at, at the restaurant, guys. Um, so definitely a plus on that. Uh, I, I even got a few of, uh, few of these things to go the uh, the clamshells uh, from the pastry I don't need them but they were good they're uh, jelly filled like I don't know I wouldn't say biscuits but they're jelly filled pastries yeah something like that guys so I definitely recommend Trattoria guys get over there um, the total on the mill was a $40, which is right in the range of most character breakfast. I mean, I had the steak. If you're on the meal plan, I'm gonna say get over here and get the steak because I feel like that's just exploiting the meal plan uh, because it, it's gonna end up being 32 some odd dollars. So it's gonna be at the high end of the meal plan um, when it comes to steak. Uh, I, I mean, I, I'm, I'm sure there's dinners that are better, better builds on that and better options, but for breakfast, I don't know if you're getting a better option on property uh, than Trattoria right there, guys. So my recommendations are high on Trattoria, especially for the food. Some of the better steak I've had in property. There are steaks on property that weren't as good as this, and you and you pay dinner prices for them or lunch prices for them. Let me throw this box down here, guys. But that is going to be about it, guys. Get over here to Trattoria. Check it out. I'm going to go with, um, man, 4.5? 4.5 that's pretty high pretty high on land scale. I don't normally give that high of a, of a rating on something But I think Trattoria earned it uh, Now if I can just pronounce the whole thing it would be great wouldn't it, but I definitely think it earned it um, The steak was great. Uh, there's a couple of the dishes in there that I really wanted to try I wanted to try the uh, calzone really wanted to try that and I saw those pancakes And if I wanted to just go take a nap right now, that's what I would have had was the pancakes, but uh not really in nap mode. So get over here, guys. Check it out. That's enough of me talking. Now it's time for you to go eat a tutorial, guys. I will see you next week, guys. I'll see you then so we can do this again. Bye-bye.